plastic soup. These are just some of the environmental disasters we're currently facing. And at this point, most of us know about them. It's either on the news, on social media, or just happening around you. If you're like me, it's easy to get overwhelmed by it. For the longest time, I walked around thinking that there was nothing that I could possibly do about it. That that's just the way it was. Until one day, I was on the couch watching a documentary about the current effect of climate change on our wildlife. And you should know, I've always had a soft spot for animals. As a child, I would bring home random birds I found lying on the ground, countless dogs, kittens, and even lizards. Anyway, so I was watching how birds, fish, and whales were dying due to the plastic waste in their stomach, how countless animals are facing extinction due to deforestation. It was a lot. But then it hit me. The worst part of the documentary. The realization that we are the ones to blame. Us. Including me. I felt so guilty about everything that was happening all around us. All life on Earth, all animals, all plants, have managed to coexist in some kind of balance for millennia. Yet, we as humans have somehow managed to tip the scales of the ecosystem. We're the ones to blame. Us. All of us. I decided that I wasn't going to accept that that was it. I was going to do something. Anything. I had to. I felt like I had a responsibility to at least try. Even though there are so many things that I couldn't control, there was one thing I could control. Me. I couldn't stop companies from cutting down trees, but I could stop supporting them. I couldn't single-handedly scoop all of the plastic out of the oceans, but I could support the ones that are trying to do just that. I couldn't stop the destruction of our nature, but I could convince others to care about the destruction of our nature and support the ones who are fighting to protect our nature. So I started trying. I started by being aware of what I could do. I could reduce my meat intake or stop eating meat altogether. I personally chose the latter. I could bring a reusable bag with me when I went to the supermarket. So I did. And as I was out there just trying, I started noticing that my actions started having a ripple effect. Because I was being more conscious about my choices, people around me also started looking at their choices and what they could be doing to do better. At some point, the realization hit me that my actions could actually have some influence. I not only could do more, but I wanted to do more. I wanted to keep sharing ways to be greener. I wanted to educate. So I decided to start a business. Talk eco to me. I wanted to share that being green doesn't have to be this abstract and difficult concept. I wanted to make it easier for others to live a green and sustainable lifestyle. I wanted to show that everyday people like you and me can be green. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not always easy to live a green and sustainable lifestyle, especially on a small island. From not knowing what to buy, to finding something and it being too expensive, the hurdles are many. As hard as it can be, impossible is nothing. Try taking your refillable coffee cup or water bottle with you. Prepare a reusable cutlery toolkit to bring with you wherever you go eliminating the need for single-use cutlery. Try vegetarian or even a vegan meal once a week. There are so many ways to implement green and sustainable habits. You just have to find what suits you. Educate yourself, ask around, or follow someone that shares tips and tricks. Just know that you're not out there trying alone. By showing that we care and that we're trying, others will follow suit. They'll have to. Oil and gas companies, multinationals, and even governments will know that being eco-conscious also has to be on the top of their priority list. The time to act is now. 
science has confirmed that we've reached the code red for our world. So go try, go do. Our world, our life, and our future depend on it. I'm Arile Aras. Thank you for watching.